Time is now. It's any place in New Zealand. It's any road anywhere. The men are on the move, all round and all over, the islands that make up the place we live in. It's right here, it's war, it's an army on the move. It's cool under the trees, hot work marching, Hard work for limbs not long out of cities and the easy living of peacetime. But there's no better way of seeing the world than to walk over it. No better way of getting fit in an army that needs fit men for the pace it's setting as New Zealand races onward to be prepared. When the time comes, none of our men will need to march long distances. They will race forward on wheels, quartering all New Zealand as they move in the evolutions of a game of war that's close to being real. Three years ago, this would have seemed strange indeed in the streets of a peaceful country town. Now there's an army on the move. a few people in New Zealand thought it would be a good idea to have an army. We thought the world was a good place to live in, like the place we lived in. But now the map of New Zealand means a place to defend, a place to fight for and fight from. We started slowly, but now we're moving fast, as fast as an army can move over the roads that serve the land we've called our land for more than a hundred years. Now the men are marching in at the end of a long day on long roads that end only when night comes. Sometimes the end of a day means only the hard comfort of a rough doss under a tree or a hedge. And then tomorrow it begins again. The army moves again through the towns and out along the roads and through the paddocks. And the men will march and an army will move until someday we've done what we set out to do. Until that day, the men will keep on marching tomorrow and tomorrow.